Hello, whiskey appreciators. Luke here again with a whiskey review. Today is a bit of a special day. I am leaving this location, so this will be my last whiskey review at this uh, nice location here. I even have already packed up my nice video sweater, so I have to use my pocket tee. I hope it's nice enough for you. Okay, so today's whiskey is going to be Oban 14 year old. This is a Diageo whiskey, one of the classic malts, uh, the six classic malts that Diageo is, is marketing. It's bottled at 43%, and I've had about half the bottle here, and I thought it was high time I did a, did a review on it. Um, right off the top of the bottle, it is extremely coconutty. Tastes like sweet, co or smells like sweet coconut. Very interesting because that's not what it smells like once you pour it into a glass, which I'll do now. Okay, so color wise, this is basically um, amber plus one. I'm sure it's chill filtered and colored, as that's generally how Diageo presents their whiskey. Um, nose. Uh, so it's a very it's somewhere between light and medium bodied but it's got kind of a nice nuttiness kind of backing it up so there's a little bit of a, well more body it's kind of got a little bit of strength underneath it it's it's got kind of a a raspberry note that's like citrus and and a little bit of that kind of dustiness that you get on a raspberry kind of a, but it's light citrus apples boiled apples there's a grassy note in my opinion kind of like freshly cut grass it's definitely kind of vegetal to me But then the, um, this is just bourbon matured. I don't think there's there's any sherry in here. So I don't pick any up. So it's kind of it's got more toffee than vanilla, but it, it's, you can definitely tell that it's bourbon matured. Somewhat creamy. The, all the fruitiness is is um, citrusy type fruits. A little bit little bit of a sourness and just a teensy bit of saltiness. Taste. Starts out good. Okay. So kind of creamy to start out. Then it builds to a spiciness. A little bit, just a little bit hot. Good on the finish and real nice toffee note. Sweet caramely kind of flavor. Dry woodiness. But then, unfortunately, as you let the finish kind of really arrive, it starts to get quite bitter. Like I've, I, so I had a glass here um, for about 20 minutes. I had a couple sips on this, and this bitterness in the finish lasts quite a while. So it, it falls over a little bit in the finish, unfortunately. But the nose is pretty interesting. Uh, getting some nice floral floral notes as well. Let's add a little water and see what else we can get here. So it's forty three percent. I'm just going to add a little. I I've um, noticed that it doesn't really take too much water. It kind of it doesn't develop much. Uh, just just a teensy bit. And actually, what I notice is that the finish actually gets worse the more water you add. So um, okay. A little bit more saltiness coming through now, maybe a little bit more floral notes. Kind of rosy. Yeah, that's that helps the nose, for sure. Taste.
Hmm. Yeah, it's interesting this one because it it is quite good in the in the arrival and as you kind of swirl it around your mouth. But then as it just kind of as it dies off, it just leaves behind something not not enjoyable. Unless you like chewing on lemon rind or banana peel. If that's the case, then you'll really enjoy this. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. So, Oban, 14-year-old. My rating, 82 out of 100. Not awesome. It's, a, it's got a pretty good nose. I like the nose quite a bit. Taste is, is reasonable. And actually, I'm enjoying it a lot right now as I'm talking. I think talking kind of helps um, just kind of bring out the flavors just because it's getting more, I'm getting more oxygen in my mouth. But the finish falls a bit flat, so 82 is what it's going to be. And uh, that will be that for my whiskey reviews at this location. So I'm moving. I may have a week off. We'll see how long it takes me to get set up and find a good place to do whiskey reviews at my new place. But I think that will be that. So I will see you guys when I get moved. Bye-bye.